In this video, we're going to do a demonstration of creating a box plot in Excel. Before we can start with the box plot, we have to have the five number summary. So we're going to use some Excel formulas to calculate those. Uh, the minimum will be calculated easily by doing equal sign min. And then in parentheses, we need the array uh, for the list of numbers. So the easiest to do is to just highlight that list of numbers. And then you can just press enter. And that will find your minimum value. We can do a similar uh, formula for quartile. It just has one extra parameter. So we're going to go equal quartile. In parentheses, we're going to do the array and then comma and then what quartile we're finding. So in this example, since we're doing quartile one, we'll do the array and then comma one. So highlight your list of numbers to get your array in there. And then we're going to do comma 1. Close that parenthesis. The median is actually the same thing as the second quartile. So equal sign, quartile again, parenthesis. Get our array again. This time we will do a comma 2. Quartile 3, similarly. Array, comma 3, and for max we can do equal sign max and again our array of values. So then we have our five number summary. Next we need a list of differences between these values. In the first cell, we just need to keep that minimum so we can just do equal and get that value. In the next cell underneath that, we need to do the difference between Q1 and Q3. So we'll do equal. Click on your Q1 number minus your minimum. Equal again here. We're going to do median minus Q1. Equal sign here. We'll do Q3 minus median. And finally, equal sign here, we'll do max minus Q3. The differences are the numbers we'll actually use to create the chart. So once we have those, we're going to highlight those five values. Go to the insert tab to a chart. You can either do a stacked column chart or a stack 2D bar chart, depending upon whether you want your box plot to be vertical or horizontal. I'm going to uh, demonstrate with the horizontal. So we're going to choose that stacked bar. Obviously this looks nothing like what we need. Uh, the next thing we want to do is come up to this button right here, switch rows and columns, so that we have one section there. We're getting closer to what we need. Now we just need to sort of format to get this to actually look like the box plot. We don't need this bottom uh, value here in the light blue, so we can just right click on that and say format data series, and we would just like that fill to be no fill. We're going to do similarly with this orange section, we don't want any fill there, so we're going to uh, click on that again and do no fill. <clears throat> Next, we're going to get the actual whisker part here. So on this second region there, where we just took care of that fill color, we're going to go up to the add chart elements. We're going to add error bars, uh, more error bars. We're going to format that error bar. On the lower end, we want a minus error bar, and we want the percent to be 100. And that will give you your lower whisker. We're going to go to the top stacked section here. Again, we are going to format data series, but we can just go to the fill button. We want no fill there. This time, we're going to click on this <clears throat> series four point 
in the uh, yellowish area here and we're going to do another error bar so go back to add chart elements error bars more error bars again we want to format that error bar so this time we want a plus error bar and again in the percentage we want 100 percent so we have our two whiskers and then our general regions here Normally these are the same color, so probably you want to uh, format those so we can uh, click on either section to begin with, go to the fill in line, get a solid fill, whatever color you would like, get a solid line, again whatever color you would like, and then do the same thing to the other bar. You could leave them different colors or make them the same color. Of course you want to go ahead and give your chart a title. I would get rid of the series number over here and if you want to adjust your number line down here uh, you can right click format axes and you can set your high and low number here so maybe we'll go from 100 to 1200 and then you have a fox and whisker plot